Now we go to the next speakers and take some highlight in his session. As, as usually, I will share a little bit of his story. Okay, Dr. Ariana Satria is a PhD student uh, from School of Political Science and International St uh, Studies of University of uh, Queensland, Australia. Master in Technological, Technological Industry from Institute Institution Technology Bandung, ITB, Ma, uh, Magister Management in Financial from University Indonesia, Jakarta. He was a professor who is a very expert in industrial relation and HRM in man, uh, Management Department, Faculty of Economic and Business University Indonesia, Jakarta. Leaders of Laboratorium Study Management of University Indonesia, LSM, Uh, University in uh, Indonesia, Jakarta since 2010 until 2018. Now he become a director of Pusat Kajian Jaminan Sosial U, uh, University Indonesia from 2019 until recently. Okay, Dr. Ariana has been published his journal internationally, including India Journal of Industrial Relation, uh, Employment Relation Record, Philippine Journal of Labor and IR, Analysis Labor of Peru, Repre uh, Representative of Dewan Gupahan DKI Jakarta since two, uh, 2019 until 2014, President of In uh, Indonesia Industrial Relations Education, AHII. He was a really active member in ILERA, ILTRAS, IERA. A I R A A N Z. Dr. Ariana really expert in his field and very passionate in learning, teaching, and mentoring. Before he become a professor in University of Indonesia, he was a professional expert in telecommunication industry and involved with various projects in his in this field. This bring a lots of benefit to the country and for himself. Now I want to welcome you, Dr. Ariana. I hope you enjoy sharing us a uh, new knowledge or uh, sharing some uh, of your experience. Okay, so hand to you, Dr. Ariana. Welcome, Dr. Ariana. Okay, thank you very much uh, for introducing me, Jessica. Uh, first off, I want also to thank you to uh, Lavender Literary Club, Cape Comorin Trust, and Malaysian Natural Relations and Human Resource Association. Particularly, the president of Lavender Literary Club, Dr. Frank Joyson Satya, Cape Comorian Trust President, Dr. Regine Silves, and Mirha, uh, President, uh, Prof. Dr. Palakrishnan Parasuraman. Welcome as well to Dr. Mohd Najib, Dr. Ganesan and Dr. Chita and all the academics and students uh, from all over the world, particularly from India, Malaysia, and other countries. Yeah, uh, allow me to share with you. Maybe it's, uh, it's about, the, about the grant, but it's, uh, let's say, I can say it's a specific grant. Why I say that? Because it's, uh, I believe that uh, during the last two days, uh, you have discussed a lot and intensely with uh, the professors uh, regarding various research grants. It means that uh, how to apply, what the documentations, what the tips to uh, win the grant and others. Now, uh, allow me to introduce about what they call the mobility, mobility research grant. Uh, I will share with you. Wait. Can all of you see the picture? The mobility grants? Yes, doctor. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this I call the presentation is about mobility grants. 
embracing world. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the introduction that has been uh, delivered by Jessica. This is some pictures. As uh, Jessica has mentioned that prior to become the lecturers in Universitas Indonesia since 2008, prior to that I have worked as a professional uh, uh, professional workers in a telecommunication industry for more than maybe about up to 15 years. Uh, I involved particularly in business development, marketing and sales programs. Yeah, after uh, I took my PhD and I met this Prof. Bala, then I took new journey as a lecturer. It's, it's uh, maybe uh, not necessarily new, but uh, I also become a, became a seasonal lecturer for about maybe two to three years in the last uh, years uh, before I went to Australia. However, yeah, uh, actually, uh, Prof. Bala at the moment, uh, we, are, we were students, but he has introduced me to the, uh, and actually prepare me to become lecturer. Since I mentioned to you that uh, I just started uh, <clears throat> to teach it and in 2008, prior to that, I have uh, met this Prof. Bala in 2006 in Adelaide, like uh, Prof. Bala has mentioned. Then uh, between those two years, actually, Prof. Bala has encouraged me to work together to write many uh, papers. Our first papers actually was presented at the Indust uh, International Industrial Relations Association ASEAN Chapters Conference. And it was held in 2007 in India. <coughs> at that moment, Prof. Bala, on behalf of us, has presented our paper. And uh, luckily enough, uh, thank God that we have won uh, and <clears throat> to be selected as part of the some papers, selected papers in from those conference, uh, then with being being included in the Indus, Indian Industrial Relations Journal. That was our and my particular my first work as a uh, yeah researcher in the journal. Yeah, uh, after that, uh, working in uh, from those paper and other paper, actually we have uh, been involved in several innovation affair, innovation contest. Once more, it's the uh, <coughs> the role of Prof. Bala uh, then that uh, has brought us to earn some medals from the university level to the national level and up to international level. We have won gold, uh, silver and medal, uh, bronze medals because actually it's uh, quite, uh, quite interesting since we uh, compete with what we call a tangible, more tangible project. It means it may be made by the people from engineering, from the <clears throat> Medi School of Medicine and other that can create tangible product. However, uh, through Prof. Bala, he uh, have uh, brought our works to become, uh, to be con contested in in the innovation affair by setting up a, in a, a presentation and a product in a PC CD-ROM at those moment. Then it has won even against the more tangible product. Okay, uh, the right hand side uh, uh, are my activities. I will talk to you later. Yeah, uh, you can say that uh, grants can be uh, submitted in the 
form of concept paper, pre-proposal, or full proposal. Maybe uh, it depends on the type of grant. However, some concept paper can also earn grants. Maybe not big enough, but then later, in general, concept paper can be uh, made more detail to be a pre-proposal and develop to more uh, full proposal. And then who will provide funding to us? Can be from the sorry from the government. And from the private foundation or corporations. The government can be from the federal level or state level. And private foundation, it's a, actually can be in the form like a, a, some form of a foundation, not necessarily from corporations like a Bloomberg, like a Rockefeller, something that's uh, the private foundation. And this is uh, the grant that I want to talk. It's a quite specific special. It allows you to travel to the <coughs> funding country to understand more about their country and the interaction that can be fruitful to the cooperation between the funding country and our countries. The first one called uh, like uh, Asian University Network. Asian University Network actually comprises uh, from many universities in Asia. Uh, Dr. Dr. Riana, your slide, uh, not, did you stop your slide? Oh, okay, I will start. Yeah, again. yeah, you didn't appear in the screen. Okay, thank you. Yeah. How about now? Ah, okay, okay, you can see now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The first is ASEAN University Network. ASEAN University Network uh, comprises some universities in ASEAN area. Uh, it comprises particularly from the state-owned university. However, some particular uh, private university also join in here. ASEAN University Network have one of the scheme called ASEAN Korea Academic Exchange Fellowship Program. Yeah, this grant actually embraced the exchange of overseas partner universities to develop the dynamic interaction of the researcher and lecturer in uh, partner universities. The grant cover about 6,000 US dollar. 6,000 US dollar means how much in? It's about in India about 40, 450,000 rupee. Yeah. This uh, grant will cover all expenses, including travel ticket, allowance, insurance, and whatever uh, regarding the um, costs borne from our research. We have to submit proposal. And at the moment, I use that to travel to, the, uh, to Korea, to South Korea. Actually, those uh, grants require us to have a partner in our destination country. At the moment, uh, I apply, uh, since I have a new uh, some networks, actually I uh, apply to my colleagues in John Book University. And then, uh, John Book and John Yu. And then uh, in Seoul, I work with uh, the 
organization will uh, that my colleagues also involved with what's called the KISEAS, Korea Institute of Southeast Asian Studies. Then I work uh, in my research about the trade union, trade union or the labor union. Then in Seoul, I work in KISEAS. In Jeonju, I work with Jeonbuk University. What I do then, uh, what I, I did then there, I visited some uh, trade or labor union. It includes labor union from the highest level, the big body like uh, KCTU and FKTU, for, uh, Federation of Korean Trade Union and uh, Korean Congress of Trade Union. People mentioned that uh, FKTU actually the largest, the incumbent. However, the KCT are more progressive, but maybe we can say it more radical. Then, yeah, I also uh, visited the, some company level, or we call it uh, maybe uh, corporate level uh, trade union. Then I visited the big body, those as the confederation, the federation or industrial trade union, as well the company or corporate level trade union. The other uh, program was uh, introduced by Hitachi Scholarship Foundation. One of the specific uh, scholarship foundation uh, called the Komai Fellowship Program. Uh, the, this program encourages the interaction between Southeast Asian countries and Japan. And it allows us to uh, spend up to three months in Japan. At the moment, I also work with my colleagues, Professor Kosuke Mizuno from uh, Kyoto University. Then I work with him, uh, then I work in Kyoto University. But uh, I also make research both in Kyoto and Tokyo University uh, City. Like in uh, South Korea, I visited confederation, federation, and company level. But here, even I also visited what we call the uh, grassroots level or community trade union. Actually, community trade union were established by uh, activists particularly from the uh, socialist trade union. The former uh, member of the trade union, they established community. It's not based of company, not based on of industry, but a community. For example, the one of the community trade union that I have visited embrace people even with unemployed people or sex workers or like a, a fritters worker or uh, they call the part-time workers they was all belong to community trade union yeah once more yeah uh, it only available for faculty members and even there was uh, its limitation. All maybe uh, mobility grants, particularly intended towards maybe the people who are below uh, 50 years old, actually like a postdoc uh, and at the postdoc uh, stages. At the moment, I was all, uh, already more than 40 years old since yeah I've worked in uh, telecommunications industry up to 15 years. Then I actually at that moment I'm old enough. However, I can uh, earn this uh, fellowship, and this cost actually uh, depend on the uh, length of the stay. Every day we can earn about 130 dollars or uh, 
the amount of uh, 17,000 yen. The total uh, for about two and three months, it's almost the same with the uh, our network. It about 6,000 US dollar. The other uh, mobility program was funded by Erasmus Mundus. Then uh, this is uh, under the LOTUS project. LOTUS is, stands for linking organizations through university synergies. This is uh, EU Asian Mobility Scholarship for academic exchange, particularly from the Southeast Asia countries. Then this grant cover like uh, prior to that. However, it's uh, the, the amount is smaller. Uh, it's only about less than four thousand dollars U.S. dollars. Previously, it can be more than about six thousand. Yeah. Then uh, this apply particularly for the member of Lotus Project, like uh, not necessarily. However, uh, the non-member of the project can also apply, but will be prioritized uh, less being prioritized at the moment. Actually, the Lotus Project, uh, Universitas Indonesia, uh, was not belong to the uh, project member. However, I just try to uh, submit stuff, uh, through this uh, project, and fortunately, I was granted the uh, scholarship. In this, uh, I work in Frey University in Brussels, in Belgium. And then I also meet with some, met with some uh, trade union, as usual with a, a confederation level, federation level, as well as a company level, and in both in Brussels and Antwerpen. The last one that I can introduce you is was funded by the AD, uh, <coughs> an organization from Germany. This uh, have uh, provided research space for university academics and scientists that promote exchange of experience and networking uh, university teachers and academics. This also apply for about uh, three months, yeah. short-term research. Uh, the, the amount, the grant cover about, it's just like uh, the, Erasmus Mundus, it's less than 4,000. It's even only about this one, 1,400. Uh, at the Brussels, I work with, uh, at uh, this one, I work with a professor from ICDD, uh, a center for that uh, main work about the labor issues in Kassel University, about two hours travel from Frankfurt, from uh, northeast of Frankfurt. At that moment, I worked with, uh, uh, I visited some trade unions in Kassel, Frankfurt, as well as Berlin. Yeah. All of those uh, grants actually uh, require you to submit this kind of uh documents first application form yes can be uh, in concept note or full proposal depends letter of recommendation from our university then letter of acceptance from the host scientists list of publication by applicants and proposed schedule uh talking about list of publication once more i have to thanks uh, Prof. Bala, since uh, 2007, he has introduced me to the uh, academic works. Those are the publication, uh, uh, both uh, all in conferences as well as journals. Luckily, when I started to submit uh, my work, even though I just start working in 2008 as a lecturer, however, in 2010, uh, for my first application uh, from AUN, Asian University Network. Actually, 
at this moment, I have already published in maybe more than 10 conferences, thanks to Prof. Bala as well, since many of them were presented by Prof. Bala, including a uh, presentation in worldwide, in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in Brazil, Sao Paulo, in Germany, as well as in Malaysia. Then uh, our work also, when I apply, I've uh, built quite enough portfolio. Portfolio in journals from India, Malaysia, and as well as Philippine Industrial Relations Journal, as well as more general, uh, general works in general journals. That's uh, make me uh, that's one of the maybe the consideration that they allow us to uh, give us the grant. Then prior to submit, I have to work to find host scientists in South Korea as well as Japan. Luckily, I have uh, got uh, some friends, the colleagues. They're, those are one of them actually have been met. Uh, we have met in Adelaide as well. But uh, for the Germany and the Belgium, I have to found, I have to find, even I didn't know their university. When, just when I apply, I contacted them through emails and as well as through the, uh, even I called them. Then, that's uh, since they agree to host me, then I'm I given the grants. However, maybe it's not necessarily uh, quite not bumpy uh, adventure actually. For example, when I apply for the AD, I have to apply and as well for the Komai for Japan, I have to apply two times, two years before they grant me the uh, award, award me our grants. Then it's not a one time application. This is typical activity plan, for example, when I uh, went to Seoul. Uh, generally, uh, I spend my time about two to three months between November and January. Then at my university, actually, I finished my teaching jobs in the first part of the semester, generally from September until October. Then I arrived back to my university to start my teaching again before the new semester began. This is the example that uh, I arranged the uh, accommodation. I met with the uh, Dr. Choi, uh, the Secretary General of Kiseas. And also I met with uh, some labor institute, labor uh, related uh, institution like in KLSI. And then I also met with KCTU in Seoul and also met with Professor from John Book National University and also met with Dr. Kim Won and he also from uh, SNU University. Uh, some, uh, this is the this is the plan that I'm uh, I created prior to go there. But actually uh, between these periods I visited more trade, low, lower level trade union like uh, in industrial level as well as in uh, company level. Luckily, I also have been assisted by my work uh, and network with the trade union. Actually, when I was in Jakarta as well as when I was in Australia as a student, I was I were a member of trade union both in Indonesia when I work as a telecommunication engineer, as well as when I work part-time in Australia when I was a student. 
then throughout the uh, their network international network since uh, my trade union belongs to the same confederation international confederation level then uh, uh, the name is union network international then i can ask them to uh, assist to meet with the trade union both in asia and european countries i think that's all from me thank you thank you so much uh, dr ariana for a, a very excellent topic you share your experience and i i hope everyone uh, will become like dr ariana and you take something from dr ariana okay now i open for the q and a session is there any question from all of you participant you may unmute yourself or chat in the box thank you Everybody tired, go. Mm. <laughs> actually, uh, if we apply for grants, like uh, in previous days, actually the grants maybe was conducted or are conducted in our own country. But this mobility grant allow us to visit the overseas countries and learn more about their people, about their organization, their culture. Therefore, I learned so much and it's uh, from first hand. Then it become a fruitful uh, material to be delivered when I teach about the dynamics of industrial relations. And since, yeah, maybe uh, we can learn from short uh, visit and interaction with people, uh, with lecturers during conference or uh, through uh, reading the books. but. The first hand feels the first hand situation maybe wouldn't be yeah it's very valuable then this mobility grant allow us to do those activities maybe dr dan i think i don't know your full name dan dan tv i don't know that what's the full name doctor <laughs> Where you come from? Hello, Professor. I am Dan. I am from Lemke Queen University. I'm a researcher in technology management. Oh, which university do you come from? Lemke Queen University, Malaysia. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Sorry. No, friend, so you're friend of the Malaysia. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, I was about to ask uh, Dr. Ryan uh, what it do you think with your experience, what is the best practices towards achieving or um, achieving a successful grants? Yeah, uh, Prof. Dan, actually to achieve grants, maybe we have to submit quite an interesting topic. Uh, thankfully, our research actually like uh, with Prof. Bala is about trade union, about maybe we can say lay people, then it's not about uh, high level people like uh, management or organization, then it's more about lower level people, uh, the struggle of the labor, then I think that's one of the selling point that our topic. And I also believe that um, my portfolio, actually at the moment that I have mentioned, uh, thanks to Prof. Bala, that I, during the application, I have sub, uh, built uh, some portfolio in labor-related uh, conference and journals. Those are the keys. Thank you so much. Maybe, yeah, maybe if, ask, you sub, uh, if you submit the topic, let's say like uh, you want to uh, 
learn about stock exchange, let's say, or about financial, maybe financial uh, market, maybe it's not uh, their uh, priority since it doesn't maybe uh, offer the interaction with the people, with the culture of their country. Uh, Dr. Dan, maybe can I can add in, huh? Okay. Sometimes, you know, when we do research, uh, let's say Malaysia, I, I don't know your field of what? Technology management? Your, your field? Uh, management, yeah. I'm doing research recently in technology management in blockchain. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, you know, uh, like how I, I got a grant with uh, Dr. Ariana, because each country, they have uh, their own funding body, you know, like, like in Malaysia, you know, we got the Ministry of Higher Education, FRGS, ERGS, and many grants, you know, TRGS, all these. And in the, similarly, in Indonesia also, they have a national grant, you know. So sometimes the proposal that we done in Malaysia, like you say, you already done some proposal, you can contact your friends in other countries, uh, regardless of many, any country. So you do the comparison. So why we do ASEAN, because you see Malaysia, Indonesia, there are similarities between uh, these two countries and uh, labor relation. So that's why uh, we managed to get, because it also attract the national uh, body to grant because it's a comparative studies. So that's how we do it. Another thing that you also can consider uh, book publication. Example, uh, when Dr. Arena published with me in, in, in Malaysia, his credit is very, very high because it's a national credit, you know. So sometimes, uh, this, this time around, first time uh, our book uh, publish, will be published in Indonesia, UE. So my counterpart is very high regard because he's already a top publisher. Because the university also uh, considered number one in Indonesia. So that's one thing. Another thing, uh, attending conference very important. I, I encourage all the scholars here, don't, don't follow the what university say. University say, ah, no funding. Never mind, don't worry. You go by your own money. See, sometimes you spend money in the beginning, uh, Dr. Ed, but later part, you will invite it by people. You know how you invited? Because when you, like, like I met Dr. Lee huh, uh, in, in Korea, you know, during the conference, huh, after coffee uh, break, like I just go and share my card. Huh? Uh, hi, Dr. Like that. And after that, he suddenly, he, he said, I want to, you want to come and visiting, visiting uh, lecturer lah, at that time. You have to teach my student. And don't worry, I have a grant. I have a grant to bring you, bring you here. So I pay everything for you. And then that's how I went to there. And then after that, he came to Malaysia. And you know, um, after a while, because of COVID-19, everything, we just uh, completely, you know, we don't communicate. Uh, so like now, I'm still complicated with Latin America. So, you know, even though there's no money value, but you have a network with these people. Because network is very important. They're very powerful. Because when you network, eventually you bring your university together with their, their name. So I believe that why I, I, I like to work like with you, Dr. Katrina, Dr. Nadi, because we are actually in the one big family. Why we are in Malaysia, we work isolation. But in Korea, no, they work as a team. Like I believe when they have dinner, lunch, example, Dr. Dan, have you, have you come across, you have dinner, lunch with the UM, UPM, uh, Cyberjaya together. They come across now. No, because you work silo. But in Korea, no. In Korea, all the professors sit together and then they discuss, you know, hey, hey what's going on? And then they, they bring all the field together, then they do research. They don't want uh, waste their idea. So I, I brought the model here. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm trying. But, but we manage, huh, Dr. Dan, you can join us. We form one Malaysian uh, Association of Business Scholars huh, under Dr. Alex. We found we found this with the private and public sector. Later, I share to you right, this course. So I'm the one of the key person also right, on that uh, session. And then we bring all the private sector. Uh, but of course, the activity is not uh, moving yet. But I think it's a good platform, right, Doctor Dan. So probably uh, organizing conference, like attending conference, is very important. Uh, sometimes don't look so much on money. Spend a little bit of money. Okay, just go to Jakarta and then we, we meet our people there. You know. Uh, that's how me and Dr. Ariana are meeting a lot of people's lab. Uh, so this is uh, one way to improve ourselves.
And uh, actually, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. Um, I'm actually not a doctor yet. I will be soon a doctor. I'm in my research, still right. in my uh, in final stage of my research. Oh, surely we are not there. No worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I say the doctor, you be doctor only. I was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes, of course, I, I would love to work with you and be a part of a team uh, to bring um, high level of um, uh, working with the team is um, always a um, uh, kind of uh, unique experience and it is a way of self-motivation development also. True, true, true. So you, you are from which country actually? You are from Malaysian? Are you Malaysian? No, I'm not Malaysian. I'm Palestinian. Huh? I'm from right. Jerusalem, Palestine. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I've been here in Malaysia almost yeah. 10 years. I did <laughs> yeah, yeah, my yeah. degree, my master's, okay. and PhD in Malaysia. Okay, okay. So you are partly Malaysian. Okay. Yeah. Thank Malaysia. you. Yes. <laughs> uh, you can speak Malaysia language now? A uh, few words like uh, uh, Nasi Lamak, Turus, Kilan, Kiri, Titarik, Bogus, Bogus, Chapat, Chapat, like a few words. <laughs> but that's interesting, you know, we can explore on Palestine labor relation. Wow, Dr. Yeah. Yana, there's no yeah. literature, literature on labor relation in uh, Palestine. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I'm uh, similar to Dr. Ryan. I'm interested in social science and um, I'm interested in improving um, people's life more like uh, into humanitarian section. Uh, yeah, I, I did a few researches in the past uh, regarding governments and the uh, conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians uh, regarding peace process. Uh, but recently I'm working on technology management into the development of corruption into the government. Mm, okay. yeah. yeah, so uh, if you are interested in that field, I, I will be more than grateful to join you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite an uh, interesting yeah, issue. Share yeah. your, your email here so that uh, you know people can communicate. Yeah, I will post it. Uh, Dr. Arena, you say something? Dr. Arena? No, uh, uh, actually, uh, my friend in here, she has uh, actually uh, has got her PhD from, uh, from ANU. Her topic oh. also about the corruption, about the, it's uh, since she is a uh, an interpretive researcher, then yeah. the topic actually that maybe corruption not necessarily bad. Maybe it will be linked with culture and how if we want to understand more, then we have to dig deep more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, the culture uh, and especially corruption, it is a big field and it is uh, booming in terms of investments, it is $288 billion a year investment yes. by the World Bank and the United Nations and EU into studies and projects in terms of anti-corruption. Uh, yeah. There are some nuance in corruption, <laughs> according to my friends. Even uh, let's say uh, one of the maybe we can say that uh, it's linked with the good corporate governance. One of the paper uh, or, or the topic in labor uh, industry or uh, industrial relation actually talk about what is the role of the trade union in uh, advancing the corporate governance. It means that they will become a party that will remind. Uh, the management to uh, develop and to do or to conduct good corporate governance because we know that uh, corporate management 
like a theory of agency, the agency theory, uh, they have their in own interest. Then it can be used to not to do in the best uh, interest of the shareholder. That's all, Prof. Bala. Agent theory and collaboration yeah. theories are the best theories to explain corruption. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, uh, Dr. Dato Najib, uh, Dato Talib, uh, Talib is Talib, yeah. uh, governance, uh, corporate governance and uh, integrity. No? So this is the first model in the world. I think nobody invented the model. He invented the first model by himself, by himself. So he's in the last stage. I think once the PhD completed, it's a very good model to follow, you know. Everybody can follow his model. He's actually integrating between integrity and governance. So he's, he's actually, uh, he's a practitioner, you know, for 20, I think 30 years, huh? So he, he wrote about experience. Huh? Very, very good, good study, actually. So that's uh, so interesting. Uh, so Jessica, we pass to you. Maybe you can ask some of the people in the room, Dr. Gita, maybe Dr. Najib. Katrina. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe, maybe we we uh, we need to ask Dr. Hayati. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Hayati, are you there? You have a question. Ask Emma. Emma, then Emma will ask question. Emma. Emma yeah, is sure. uh, the youngest student, I think. I think many, many of our young students here. This okay, so we invite Emma. Are you there, Emma? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks. You thanks. want to ask something <laughs> to uh, Dr. Ariana? Uh, no, sorry, Prof. Because I just came in because I was in the class just now. So after Prof. Paula's talk, I went for my class. I just joined and listened to Mr. Dunn. Sorry. I think it's for now okay. I don't have any question. Uh, what okay. about Dr. Najib? Dr. Najib? Are you there, Dr. Najib? Maybe Dr. Najib can share something, Najib? Uh, my question is. Uh, what is the current and future direction of this uh, collaborative research uh, within Asia country? Oh, okay. Okay, maybe uh, Dr. Arena, can I answer the question? Sorry, uh, what is the? <laughs> what is the, the current and future trend of uh, collaborative research within Asian country? Uh, if uh, I'm not mistaken, it's about uh, who will uh, conduct the collaboration, yeah? Yes. Yeah, for example, uh, what I mentioned, ASEAN University Network. AUN, actually one of the institution that foster the collaboration through some scheme. Yeah, one of them is Mobility Grant. However, there are some uh, projects also that uh, create uh, toward the publication of journals of uh, collaboration of books and others yeah ASEAN University well, Network uh, uh, I'll let you know what is the uh, what is the future direction of research the future uh, actually yeah uh, maybe uh, since uh, like now a pandemic as well as digital economic and green economic those become the some of the current topics that are uh, champion to be collaborative? Uh, I think th this pandemic uh, is a starting point uh, for the company as well as for, for the government to uh, do what we call this to uh, embark or to invest into this uh, digital economy or the, uh, digitalization. And this is one of, one of the way how to how to minimize the cost and to increase the efficiency and this will i think lead to the sustainable especially uh, the company as well as the nations and uh, i'm i'm 
I'm embarking into that area, digitalization and automation, uh, and relation with this uh, COVID-19, and also uh, the uh, we call it the the output of these two is uh, looking towards uh, the survival aspects, especially uh, my area is in entrepreneurship, uh, uh, contributions to the small and medium enterprises. Uh, with regard to this uh, digitalization, automation, and uh, currently I would like to uh, investigate the critical suspector of adoptions, uh, digitalization and automation in our SME environment and will uh, highlight or will tell them the benefits of these uh, two uh, most important element in a uh, digital in we call that uh, digitalization and uh, automation so that, that's my concern that's my concern and that's my direction uh, future research in in our country uh, that, that, that's why i would like, I would like to find further what is the uh, future direction if we want to collaborate uh, with the nation country uh any problem uh yeah yeah Actually, uh, Dr. Najib, uh, it's a good idea. Recently, uh, we formed one, uh, one group of people. Uh, uh, I initiated the one. We call UMK Global uh, Network. Lah. So in that network, maybe I include you later on. So we are, I mean, uh, we are starting a book project. Lah. Uh, first, uh, because we had to start from where, anywhere, you know, before we go to the grant and so on. So we are writing a book on the... Uh, qualitative, I don't know, sorry, research method, methodology from the science and uh, social science perspective. Lah. So they're going to write about the, so if you really want to submit a paper on that, I think you're welcome. Uh, I, I will send, it, send you the, 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 you know, the, the poster, everything. Lah. So this group of people, we haven't gone through, discuss and uh, find out uh, what kind of research to be done. Definitely your idea is very important. So that we can sit down, maybe Dr. Ariana and others can advise. Maybe we can apply like the uh, Japan Foundation, uh, because Japan Foundation every year they will be advertised, you know, on the on the you know research grant. So because we have many many countries here, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, and maybe Africa, huh? so maybe uh, we can sit down lah. So we we haven't we haven't uh, discussed further on that, but of course we start the book project first lah. So then, uh, at least we can bring some scholars uh, in different countries, lah. So that's why I I brought the idea to bring the editors from Indonesia, Malaysia, and India, lah. So that, uh, the, so maybe the next year we're going to organize a conference in a in planning to organize in a, near Kerala, the first conference by Lavender. These three uh, uh, NGO is working very closely to organize a lot of activities, lah. So I told Dr. Frank. We do the face to face. Probably we can after the conference we can sit down and discuss like, what we do the next month. So maybe we, we come out with the journal, you know, all this lah. Like. And of course, uh, you know, writing a collaborative research is so very important, like, publication and so on. So we start with small and see how this goes lah. Like. So small group, I think, is better rather than you go big group, right? So at least at least we are sharing and uh, uh, so we actually brought the young scientists also lah. Like those 30 years old, all this stuff. So we are, we are, uh, we can work together actually, science and non-science actually, with relevant projects. Uh. In fact, yeah, especially, especially yeah. right now, uh, digital economy probably. Uh. Yeah, 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 true, 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 true. We can sit down. Maybe we can have discussion with Dr. Ariana later, you know? We can have, uh, because every year also they're having a grant also. So we can really uh, discuss later. Uh. Okay. But of course, uh, we need to bring the young scholars also like, because your energy is less and less, like, Doctor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. let's see. The topic is uh, for example about the uh the digital economy adoption uh, of the entrepreneurship at uh yeah. worker. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Human capital, I think human capital yeah. mm. adoption. It also will involve uh Dr. Dan. A technology management as well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because uh, COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen, uh, make our country uh, 
make our country as well as, as our company uh, forced to forced to adapt this yes. uh, digital economy related to this automation and the digitalization in order for them to survive. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's, it's, it's quite new, it's quite new, uh, this, uh, what we call this, these two, uh, these two phenomena, digitalization and automation. And that's why I think uh, that's my interest to further explore. And especially I, I would like to collaborate and see these uh, two, we call that two development of these two areas uh, across across Asian country, especially. Mm. So, so, so. so we can have meeting also, like, at the, maybe uh, we call up with a meeting. Huh? And of course, uh, we identify the funding agency. Huh? Because uh, we all got experience, you know, so through experience, we can come up with a good proposal. Huh? Sure, so, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we try to Japan Foundation. I'm probably uh, we can work with the Prof. Fumitaka. Fumitaka is a UM. So Fumitaka, Asian, Asian Europe Institute. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know him? He, he is a yeah, yeah, yeah. research buddy in a UMS. He was from UMS. We're very close. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He's a labor, labor, uh, labor economics, but he's also doing development economics now. So I see. then we can have a discussion with him also because he's very close with the Japan, you know. Japan yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So with uh, Dr. Ariana, you know, uh, others, huh, like then others all can, can collaborate. Huh? We see how. Yeah, 